so I kind of think I could be uh, wasting my time with that. Um, it just dawned on me, sp uh, spreading that straw all around, that it's got uh, seed heads on it. <laughs> so I'm actually spreading around, I don't know, whatever that straw was, um, wheat or barley, I don't know. Um, anyway, I've done it. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I, I took advice from uh, I took advice from a subscriber who said cover it in straw and that will stop the birds from uh, eating the grass seed, which maybe it will. We'll. Uh, we'll see and we'll test it out hopefully it will so thank you for your suggestion so I've just come down to the corner of the garden and I thought I would um, show you some pictures and uh, talk about this little bit of uh, land that I've got uh, which is in front of the barn and it goes down here it's about I think it's about 90 foot by I think at the top there it's about uh, I oh, know, I think, yeah, so it's about eight, maybe 100 feet long and about 90 foot wide at the top there. And down here, it's about 50 foot wide. And when I bought the house, when I bought the house and the property, uh, I didn't actually own that piece of grass. And um, I'll show you some pictures, but there's some trees here that I've got planted randomly along the edge of the garden. Well, I bought those trees um, because uh, not to plant there as you'll see in the pictures they were actually planted you see where my pear tree is I'll stand in line with... so down there if you look there's kind of a line to the edge of the barn um, the, uh, the stone barn and this area on the right here uh, was a separate piece of parcel of land, a separate piece of garden. And uh, so I, I didn't actually own this. This didn't come with my, um, like in my documents, this didn't come in, the, come in the sale. So I just put a line of trees there because I was gonna sort of screen it off. Because as you see in the pictures, this was just one big mass of bramble. And at, at some points it was like eight or 10 feet high. And it was going up the side of that barn. And um, so, yeah, I'll just quickly show you some pictures. So, uh, Last week, or week before, I received a document uh, in, the, uh, in the post, and um, it's dated 7th of December, 2020. So, over two years old, so it's two years and three months. And um, yeah, this is actually my um, deeds <laughs> to, to the piece of land. <laughs> it, it took... Yeah, so, um, yeah, if you're in a rush to get paperwork in France, no, don't be rushing, you know, you'll get the paperwork and you'll get the ownership title when they feel like sending it to you. So, yeah, over two years for me. So, yeah, what happened was I'd, I'd bought this uh, property and, um, you know, I was tidying it up. And then I got a handwritten note in my letterbox and it was in French. And I translated it you know online and I couldn't really work out what what was being said so anyway I took it to uh, the notaire which is like your solicitor uh, in France like a notary public but acting like a solicitor anyway um, yeah I've got quite a good one I've used quite a good one and um, yeah she was really good so I took the letter to her and she uh she it seems that all land all land in france it's probably the same in the uk uh, all, uh each parcel of land has its own number like i've got four or five or maybe more maybe six separate parcels of land that make up my property and they're all next to each other but they've all got a different number and so she typed in to, into the computer so it must all be available online uh, or on a database she has access to and this uh parcel on the right, she typed the number into uh, the computer and uh, it came up with the owner who owns it. And this was the person who'd put the letter in my letterbox. 
and there was a story is because land gets divided up um, uh, through throughout history uh, you know farmers or parents give kids pieces of land and uh, it just gets forgotten about and it's quite interesting so that barn there I'm pretty sure used to belong to the guy that owned my house my house and property all the, all the land and I'm pretty sure the same man owned most of the village actually and I think over time over time he just sold it off to people like friends and relatives he just sold it off um, but this piece of land got forgotten about now uh, there's a farm there uh, that's the farm workshop there and there over that side is a neighbor and there's me so there's three people that could have used this piece of land um, but the letter was put in my letterbox um, do you wish to buy it because it was a scrub piece of land and no one wanted it really I mean the guy didn't want really want any money for it I paid I paid 100 euros for it plus 200 euros legal fees and yeah I just said yeah, all right then I'll, I'll buy it because um, I was gonna have to look at it and it was an absolute monstrosity to look at and I was kind of hiding it and there was no fence there so uh, yeah I uh, did think about strimming it before I owned it did think about cutting it down and strimming it and looking after it and then I thought to myself well it's not mine you know it's a bit of a tricky situation didn't really know what to do but anyway yeah so that's how I ended up coming to own that piece of land so that's as I say it's quite big it's about I don't know 90 or 100 foot long by 90 foot wide up here so quite a uh, an interesting space to put some trees and whatnot Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. So, uh, do you remember this video? So if you're in the Chiron area, or the Limousin, um, we're in for a monster storm tomorrow, much like that one, or so they forecast. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find somewhere in the workshop, I think, to put all those plants, because it does look like the garden's gonna get an absolute bashing tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow early evening, uh, they reckon 50 mile an hour winds, hail, and uh, over an inch of rain so the ground is already quite wet and i'm hoping i'm hoping everything's going to be all right because it's one of those weather events and uh yeah so do you remember what this looked like <laughs> do you remember what this area looked like down the side of the house um so yeah all my hard work um, all my hard work is going to get tested I think tomorrow so I better enjoy the tulips today because I've got a feeling they are all, everything there is going to get an absolute smashing tomorrow um, which is kind of kind of well I'm kind of dreading it and also what would be upsetting uh, I'm so pleased that this um, Nashi tree Nashi pear tree is covered in blossom well I'm kind of thinking all of that blossom is going to get smashed to pieces as well so uh, yeah not good and I've just spread all that straw around yeah maybe that straw is just going to end up blown into the corner anyway so I've got that to look forward to so um, yeah keep your eye out <laughs> maybe I'll make another video well I've got another video to talk about the kitchen and uh, which I've started making the video and planning but um, yeah it's just another one of those another one of those oh I've just noticed my YG -la is starting to um, it's starting to leaf up uh, hopefully the weather I'm pretty sure all these pans is going to get bashed up tomorrow yeah hopefully the weather is going to be um, well not as bad as they predict see you later